Hello everyone, and welcome. In this video, we're going to be talking about six things you should never do in your turbocharged car. Number one, not warming up in the cold start. Don't run your car hard until you've let everything get up to operating temperature. At below operating temperature, the engine oil becomes denser, which means less engine oil flow to the turbocharger. If you rev the engine, the turbo will spin at very high RPM. The lack of engine oil to the turbocharger combined with the high spinning RPM can damage the turbocharger. Engine oil has to circulate through the oil pan, so the engine has a large reservoir that needs extra time to warm up. Wait a few extra minutes after the engine coolant has reached operating temperature before you start to hammer on your vehicle. The second thing is the hot engine shutdown. Avoid immediately shutting your engine off after you've been running your car really hard. When you run your car hard, you'll have hot spots like your turbocharger and other areas. If you shut your engine off suddenly, you shut off oil flow. The trapped engine oil in hot areas starts to burn up and break down, leading to more frequent oil changes and increased wear due to the loss of oil lubrication properties. Before shutting off the engine, let it idle or run at cruise speed for a few minutes to dissipate heat evenly. The third thing is engine lugging. You should never lug your turbocharged engine. Lugging means giving it a high load at a very low engine RPM. For example, if you're in fifth gear at 1000 RPM and you press the gas pedal, you're getting a lot of boost, but at a very low engine RPM. This is dangerous because you're putting your car at a huge gearing disadvantage and asking for a lot of power at an engine speed where it can't make that power. The smart thing to do is to downshift. Additionally, especially with diesel vehicles, trying to make more power at low RPMs can result in a very rich mixture, which can burn up your catalytic converter or damage your exhaust system. Number four is to sudden throttling. Sudden throttle changes, either full on or full off, are not great for the lifespan of your turbo and its ancillary components. Sudden throttling can put a lot of thermal stress on the turbo and its components. A progressive approach to the throttle, either on or off, is really beneficial to manage those thermal contractions or expansions. Number five is oil starvation. Undoubtedly, the most common reason for turbocharger failures is problems with engine lubrication. By oil starvation, we mean that the turbocharger isn't getting enough oil flow due to oil contamination or a choked filter. Oil starvation can lead to turbo failure and catastrophic engine damage. Ensure your engine is well maintained with regular oil changes and check your oil levels frequently to prevent this issue. The number six is foreign object entry. Any small debris entering into the turbocharger can destroy the impeller blades. With the turbo wheel spinning at high RPM, any foreign object that enters the turbo can cause destruction in seconds. Make sure your air filters are clean and properly installed to prevent this issue. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with fellow automotive enthusiasts, and subscribe to our channel for more in-depth automotive diagnostics and repair guides. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified of our upcoming videos.